And now back to the continuation of the story from a few minutes ago. You're on the best of the morning X with Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. 99X. Okay, so I'm downstairs making coffee, and um, they're they're not in the trap. I thought overnight for sure because the guy said it'd just be a matter of a day or what two. What did he put on there? They have some type of they have some type of mixture of like honey and peanut butter and you know something real enticing mm-hmm. and they put it on the thing and then it you know Snap. oh and he tells me and and then he tells me splatter I said, well, what happens you know when when the thing is just like catch the thing in the neck and it's done and he's like well you know that's ideally what happens i said what do you mean ideally well sometimes it catches the rat like on the head or on the stomach and then it just like kind of oh, splatters, splash, splatters. Oh, no. or sometimes it'll just catch the rat like on the leg or the tail Ooh. and i said and then well, you have then a three-legged what? rat no yeah because then the rat chews its Tail no. or leg off, and then just continues, about continues his business. on. Mm-hmm. Right. I hear this. So I'm making coffee now, and all of a sudden I start hearing a lot of like scurrying little feet above my head. And I think, ah, oh, the dogs are upstairs playing. There's only one problem the dogs are at my feet, both of them. So as I'm making, I'm, I'm not kidding you, I'm here, here, let's kill the music for a second. I'm hearing this above my head. Oh my god! All over my head, inside the walls. It's like and that the movie ceiling. Mousetrap. I'm like, that's it. This I'm selling the house. I mm-hmm. cannot live with a rat. So you haven't caught him yet? No, he's still he's hip to me or something. <laughs> you look very it's shaken. So un- every time I even think, I tell you what, that picture, that image of that rat ran- running across my kitchen floor uh, over my feet will be burned forever in my eyes. Hello, you're on the air. Shut up and talk to me. Hello there. Yeah. Listen, you guys, I'm cracking up listening to your rat story this morning. I've got one very similar to that. I can relate to what you're going through, Jimmy. Oh. A good friend of mine. I'm just thinking, <laughs> thinking about <laughs> yeah, it. And, and what a perfect time of the year for this, too. A good friend of mine lives in Decatur, and he bought a new house for he and his soon-to-be wife, and he's living in it for a couple of weeks before they all move in, right? Uh-huh. Boxes are all still throughout the house, and he hears occasionally at night what he uh, believes to be a rat. And so he's sleeping, and he says, well, I'll bait this sucker. I'll bait this thing, and I'll catch him. So he puts bait out for the rat. The rat awakens him one night <laughs> from a dead sleep in this uh, soon-to-be trap. He, what, he, he right wakes him? He taps him on the shoulder? No, no. <laughs> almost it was big enough. So he wakes up. There's this rat over eating this food near the trap. He leaps out of bed. The guy oh. leaps out of bed. Oh. He, he plays golf. He reaches over in his <laughs> golf bag, and he grabs, I don't know, eight iron, nine iron, whatever, and he's chasing this rat all around the house. He chases it through his bedroom, through the hallway, through the kitchen, toward the back of the house, toward the bathroom. The rat gets in the bathroom, jumps in the toilet, and is gone. What? He swims down the toilet? He's gone. He swims down the toilet? He jumps down through the toilet and is gone. And the guy knew, for the couple of weeks he had been living there, he knew he had seen water around the, the, the floor, around the toilet. So it's been living in there? And he couldn't figure out why it was there. What is it, a gopher? How the would you rat like to was be... coming and going through the freaking toilet. How would you like to be sitting on the toilet one day, and all of a sudden <laughs> oh, you no, hear splashing no, no. underneath you, and you look if, down, and there's a rat in there? That's a great story. If you think about it, seeing in a toilet, you know, once it goes over the little trap in the toilet, and the pipe goes down to the sewer, there's no water there. There's only right. water in that pipe when you flush the john. Right. So the, the, rat, the rat was coming and going through the the guy's toilet. So See, the rat was like this wet rat <laughs> scurrying across the floor. Rat. He and, was letting himself in and out of the house through the guy's toilet. Uh, anyway. And, and the sh- and see, I'm surprised because to kill a rat like that, I would use no more than about a three or four iron. He said, but, yeah, you know. a nice chip shot right to the john, right? <laughs> he, he said the rat was close to the size of a small, uh, a small pet rabbit. Uh, rats are big. Yeah, oh, it was Rats huge. are large. Yeah, so what a surprise you'd have on your butt uh, one morning, right? Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat that lives in Jimmy's house. This is the best of the morning. X-Bonds, Leslie and Jimmy on 99X.